recording, Monica. Of course, I'm recording. I'm recording. <laughs> so, it's okay. Well, uh, the first question, just let me check your chat. Oh, okay, it's okay. Now I can see the chat box. Well, my, okay, so do you like reading books? You answered, yes, of course, I'm a bookworm. That's good. That's really good. I like this answer, but it's not, I think it's not complete. So it's better to add something. So of course you can say, yeah, uh, a bookworm or another. So there are different phrases that you can use. Bookworm is really good, a person who likes reading. And you can also say, if you want to use another alternative, you can say, um, an avid reader. So avid reader is synonym for another phrase for bookworm someone who likes to read books and now how to complete your answer so you can add maybe a good edm so how to say for example of course i'm an avid reader i'm a bit bookworm so for example you can usually find me with my nose in a book you can usually find me with my nose in a book. So what is the meaning of to have your nose in a book? So it means to read a lot. So this is an idiom to have your nose in a book means to read a lot. For example, if I want to do a good example and make a good sentence, so I can say, you can usually find me with my nose in a book, for example, on Sunday morning, for example. This way you can use this idiom and you can complete your answer. Well, in the second one, how often do you read? Uh, could you please uh, give me your answer again, you yourself, because of course you say better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before, I read books every day as soon as I had free time, but now I have too much work. I can only read on weekends. OK, very good. So uh, before, so it's better to use I used to. I used to read here used to is really good structure because you are talking about your habits in the past, but of course, maybe you don't have it because of your time. So you can say before, just omit it, remove it and say, I used to read books every day in the past. OK, I used to read about, you know, as soon as I have free time. No. So you can say that whenever. OK, so or daily, so you can say this way. But nowadays or however, now I'm too busy. I'm snowed under with work, so I don't have enough time and I can only read on weekends. So this way you can say, first of all, I used to read a lot. I used to read a lot. However, okay, these days I'm snowed under with my work or at work, so I can't. So I'm snowed. Oh, what is this? What is letter O? Okay, snowed under with my work so I can't read a lot so I only read on weekends okay the next one okay 
or another idiom that you can use to say that I'm real. Of course, you can say swamped is another word for busy, but you can also say I have a lot on my plate. So which means I have a lot of things to do. So I have a lot on my plate means I have a lot of things to do. So another word like I'm busy. OK. Well, so especially when going to bed, so it's like you so you can read so you can mention why so you can say I normally I end so nowadays I'm really busy or for example I'm snowed under at work but I try to end my day reading a book End my day reading a book so especially after dinner and this way you can complete your answer okay the next question uh, do you have many books at home Okay, could you read your answer, please? Yeah, definitely, yes. The most stuff in my house is books. My bookcase takes up an entire world from floor to ceiling, and I have to use a ladder to get to the books on the top. Yet, I still have to regularly choose to get rid of some books because there's no place to store them. Yeah, of course, very good. So, yeah, yes, definitely the most stuff. In my, OK, so here. If I were you, uh, I would say something else. So, for example, you could say, mm, yes, uh, since um, a bit of bibliophile, so this word. Bibliophile, someone who loves reading books, someone who has books, who loves reading books. So you can say, I'm definitely, I'm a bit of, so it's your choice how to use it. So since, because I'm a bit of a bibliophile, so you can find a lot of books at my home. So my bookcase takes up an entire wall, so that's good from floor to ceiling, and I have to use a ladder to get, to, yeah, this one is good. So to get to the books on the top, good one. Yet, yet and still here. Uh, yet I still have to regularly choose to get rid of some, get rid of books, so I think this one is not good. Actually, it makes a contrast with what you said before, because when you love books, when you mm, like reading books, it's like, you know, get rid of something. It means that you don't like it, so you don't want to have it, so you get rid of it. So this one, actually, it carries a negative definition, so it's not good to use this one. So, but I need to. You know, for example, I don't know, find uh, more place to put another book, or for example, the other book. So there is no place to store them. So I need to maybe land them. I need to do something I, like I this. Give, I give this book to my student. Yeah, of course. Perfect. For example, but just I say yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. So, but you know, get read. I want you to change this. So I try to lend them to my students to find more space to actually put an put the other book. So this way is better. Okay. Well, so so I think uh, you've been collecting books, and you can also say because you have a lot of books. So why not? Here you can use. Uh, present perfect continuous. This is really good structures. For example, you can say, uh, yeah, I'm a bit bibliophile, so I have a lot of books. Actually, I have been collecting books for a long time. So why not? I've been, if you do this, you can say, I've been reading and collecting books 
for example, since my teenage years, since my childhood or for a long time. So, for example, I have over, I don't know, 1,000 books at home. So, sometimes I need to donate. Okay, so I need to, this way is better. So, I need to donate, like lend them, donate them. Give, but of course, don't get it back. Donate them due to lack of space. This one is better. Okay. Wow. Okay. So let's see the next question. So what is the next one? Oh, where is that? Okay, number four. So, what kind of books do you like to read? Okay, could you I read it please? Reading, yes, I love reading novels. Novels let me live the lives of many people in many different circumstances, in different lands and in different historical periods. Yeah, from different, yeah. Of course, you can say, yeah, it was good. Of course, it was good. So, uh, novels let me live the lives of many people in many different, yeah, circumstances, in different lands, different maybe historical period. Yeah, I love this one. It, it was really good. I like this one. It's really good. And, you know, the only thing, yeah, of course, novel. So, you know that. So, because you can just add something, for example, I don't know, uh, I think novels are really gripping. Gripping means attractive, absorb you, mm -hmm. grab your attention. So, novels are really gripping and captivating. So, gripping and captivating. So it's like, so I normally read them from cover to cover. So I read them from cover to cover. When something is really interesting, attractive, of course, you read it from cover to cover. So well, or you can say, for example, novels, uh, have me spellbound. So novels have me spellbound. It means they attract you, they absorb you. They're really attractive, so you want to read. So novels have me spellbound. When something uh, has you spellbound, it means attracts you. So this way you can complete your answer. Just add them. Okay, do you want to make your answer again using one of them? Not, of course, all of them. So, which choice? Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I love reading novels. Novels have me spellbound. And then I can leave. <laughs> yeah, of course, very good. So just let me write, uh, maybe you went poor again. Okay, so as I told you, having your attention completely, the meaning of it. So, and I love is very good. And of course, it's great. You can use it. Why not? But uh, I think, I think you can say I'm into maybe. Why not? I'm into novels. So I'm a big fan of I'm a big fan of novels and I find them gripping and captivating. I find them gripping and captivating. So uh, whenever I read novels, actually it has me it has me spellbound. Like, you know, it's like it gets all my attention. Okay? Yeah. Well, the next question, let me see. Uh, well, uh, what was your favorite book as a child? Okay, tell me about it. Oh, of course, Scarlet. Yeah, I know this one. <laughs> Good.
go with the wind. Yeah, of course. So it's great book. Great my, book. Yeah, my third book from childhood to adulthood is Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. Yeah, of course. So it's you can say that's perfect. And I watched the I don't know something like really different. So of course the uh, film was great. I can say the film was great, but comparing the book book wise out of this world, so it was really extremely beautiful, extremely great book. I love the book, and I think not only once. I think I read it three times. Maybe it was really interesting. So I could imagine. And of course, the, the film was great. So have you watched the film? Yes, I did. And yeah, I read, I did the books again and again. Yeah, of course, of course, that was really perfect. Yeah. Uh, so normally between films and books, especially the films that actually are made based on stories, which one would you prefer, film or books? Mm the books i think yeah of course of course yeah. yeah of course yeah and um so i think yeah it was really great i don't know so uh let me ah let's talk about this so your favorite book uh, so as uh, that was really good so how to answer i'm sorry i need to okay one moment what is that so uh how to answer this question the beginning is important so for example if you want to add another grammatical structure for example you can say i remember because it's something related to your childhood for example i remember being very fond of a book called so this way you can begin so i remember Being very fond of a book called okay, and now you want to say, for example, just it's not about to briefly talk about it. So, for example, I recall it was, for example, that. It was, it was about, for example, a girl. So you can say, for example, Scarlet, and you can briefly talk about just one line, okay? So who was really selfish, and for example, who fell in love with a guy. So like this, okay? And then you can say that actually it was really attractive and gripping story, so, so that. So I read it, I couldn't take my eyes. I, finish it up, for example, quickly. And I remember that I read it again and again because it was really, for example, captivating to me. So this way you can make your answer. OK, the next one. So wow, we have the same thing. Uh, so the book was great. And uh, how about Pride and Prejudice? Have you read it? Yes. I did. Yeah. What do you think about this one? Do you like that? Um, I I read this one when I'm on not under already, uh, and <laughs> I have no interest in at the love any more. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, so you have no interest. Okay. Well. Uh, do you like to read at home or in other places? Could you read it, please? Yes, I like reading at home because at home I can completely immerse myself in the content of the book and even cry without worrying about being seen by others. 
Moreover, at home I can read and hula hoop at the same time. So in the same amount of time, I can do two useful things. I will not feel guilty because I spend too much time reading. Yeah, of course. It's perfect, of course, that was really good. Yeah, especially so. I can completely immerse myself, that was really good. In the content of the book, so that's just, you know, you can omit of the book, content is okay, perfect, and even cry without worrying about being seen. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, being noticed, that was really good. And moreover, at home I can read <laughs> and love at the same time, that was really good. And so, so I can make maybe, uh, yeah, of course, I can get more benefits. So why not at the same time? Of course, that was really good. And I will not feel guilty because I spent too much time reading. So, of course, so it's not a guilty. So this one, because, you know, when you feel like guilty because you do something wrong. So but I think if I were you, I would omit the last part. So it's, I, as I told you, like a negative thing about reading books, but that was perfect. Just, you know, the last part may be too extra. Okay, so we can omit. So very good. You enjoy reading at home because you can cozy up with a book. You can cozy for example, of with a book. And as you said, you can immerse. So you can combine these two. So why not cozy up with a book and immerse yourself in the story and immerse yourself in the story. That was really without, without any distractions, of course. So no one distracts you. So without worrying or without any distractions. Okay. So why not? That was really good. Okay. Well, now let's keep going. Just uh, do you have any questions related to the frame? Have any questions? So let's talk about them and then. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't think you very clearly. That sentence because oh. uh, the the sound is interrupted. Okay, so about this one, you can cozy up. So now, can you hear me? Yes. No. OK, so I told you that, OK, you can combine so you can cozy up, feel like, you know, you can find a cozy place, cozy up, feel comfortable with a book, immerse yourself. Easily cry, you can easily show your emotion and feeling, so why not? So as you mentioned, and this way you can answer this question. Well, uh, do you have any questions related to part one? Because we're going to move on to the second part of speaking. But if you have any questions, let's talk. No, thanks. OK, very good. Well, uh, just uh, let me give you some alternatives. You may need them. OK, for example, when it comes to reading books, like, for example, how to sometimes we go to bookstore. Maybe you will be asked a question related to uh, actually I don't know, shopping or buying books. So uh, you can sometimes we do this. We read uh, and a book quickly like, you know, just I don't know, uh, glance at quickly like, you know, just to see what the book is about and we or we read in depth. So, of course, we read in depth at home, but when we want to buy a book, there is no time to read it completely. So how to say that I read, for example, OK, let's have a look, have a look. I take a glance at it to see if it's OK to buy. So I normally skim through books skim through 
books in the bookstore. Or of course skim through or flip through both of them. Means to read quickly. So to read quickly. So it means to glance at quickly, to glance at but quickly, so you can use them. And uh, another one, so let's see if I have another way to say, okay, uh, some books actually teach you something new. Like for example, they change, they show you a new perspective on a topic. So how to say that, for example, I read a book about business, about, for example, communication, about everything, and actually it taught me a lot of things. So how to say, uh, if a book is a real eye opener, so for example, to be a real eye opener means Teach you something new or provide a new perspective on a topic. Okay, so it can be any books. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is another idiom that you may use, so why not? Well, and the next one, sometimes you find a book really valuable, enjoyable. So how to say that the book was really enjoyable or valuable? If a book is a real gem. Gem is a really valuable stone. It's a type of stone that is really precious, is valuable. So you can say that the book is valuable. So to be a real gem means to be valuable and Highly enjoyable. So, for example, that's novel, especially when it taught you something. Well, okay, and now tell me about a book that you read and you found it really eye-opener. Yeah. When I was in seventh grade, my best friend from childhood lent me the novel Gone with the Wind. This was indeed a very interesting novel and gave readers hope for tomorrow. It was even more attractive when I learned that the author of the book, Margaret Mitchell, did not need to write many books in her entire life. She only needed to write one book to be famous. At that time, I thought that, oh, well, well, yeah, <clears throat> I, I thought that I would write a novel like Margaret Mitchell, but I did not imagine that my childhood dream would gradually become a reality. However, my purpose in writing books has changed a lot from the beginning. At first, I just wanted to write a book so that my name would live forever. Now, I just want to share with those who are suffering in life the path to happiness. Yeah, of course, of course, very good. So when I was in seventh grade, so my best friend from childhood, my childhood friend or best friend, okay, lent me the novel, a novel called, okay, or named Gone With The Wind. So that was really good. Uh, 
it was indeed a very interesting novel. Now you can replace. So of course, now you know the words that you can use. For example, instead of interesting, what can I use? Now you can make it. Yeah, that was it. So you can say that the book that had a significant impact on me and my life was this book. So uh, you can say that that was really good and gave readers hope for tomorrow. So it was just your uh, normally our dreams come true. Reality new. So our dreams come true. So one day, so we try to make our dreams come true. So this one, the word that you need to change it. And it was even more attractive when I learned that the author, yeah, did not need to write. OK, this one did not need to write many books in her entire life. So need, what is this? Didn't need to write, of course. So uh, when I hear it's better to use past perfect because it's happened before another action. When I figured out that the author hadn't written many books in her whole life, entire life, OK, and she only wrote one book. So here, just I, I didn't know you mean this or need because I can't get you mean when you say she didn't. Yeah, because uh, uh, um, other writers, they write a lot of books to be famous. Uh -huh. Big writers, but Margaret Mitchell, she's only wrote one book. And she can be compared as a big writer. Yeah. So she, when you figure out that she had gained her fame through this book, through this book, not the other. So this way is better. OK, this way is better. So it's uh, clear and more understandable. At that time, I thought that I would write a novel like, yeah, oh, that's so. So you can say at that time, you can say that it was like an inspiration to me to write. So I thought, I thought about writing a novel the same or like that novel. So it was a real, it was a real inspiration inspired you so like you know I wanted to write the same novel and uh, but I didn't however I didn't imagine that my child dream would gradually okay so however it was just a dream and I couldn't even imagine that my child dream would become true step by step or gradually become true this one is better However, my purpose in writing books has changed a lot from the beginning. So this way. However, the, the way or for example, the reason of writing. So I changed my mind so you can say. And from the beginning at uh, first, I just wanted to write a book so that my name would ah. Uh, so I just wanted to write a book for fame. So this one you can say, but now I just want to share my ideas, my perspective uh, with those who are suffering, suffering from life in life, for example, the path to happiness and show them the path or the route to happiness. So this way, that's good. So you want to share your experience or for example, your perspective or you want to show the way to, for example, those who are suffering in life and show the path to happiness. So that is. Is or the road, for example, the road to happiness. I like this. OK, but this way you can change and it was really good. Well, OK. And any questions related to this one? Part two. No, thanks. Yeah, of course. And just about, you know, uh, about the beginning, let me talk about this one because I think I left. You mentioned hope, if I can find it. 
Okay, come crash. So, ah, here. Gave readers hope for tomorrow. It's really good, but you can also say that, for example, this book has influenced the reader by, for example, stealing uh, a sense of hope, or for example, showing or giving a sense of hope. So this way, I like this one. Sense of hope. So I love this one. Actually, maybe uh, like, for example, uh, what is really important? So how to say that? Because this part, it was, you know, uh, why it had a significant impact on you. So how to say that what make this book really important to me? What resonated with me about this book? make it really important to me was, for example, I didn't know it's profound of uh, profound exploration of personal dreams. So this way, because actually it showed you. So this way you can say, let me write what resonated with me about this book, what makes it really important about this book, about, for example, uh, Gone with the Wind, was or is at profound, like, exploration, you know? I think, of course, it's something like my idea of personal dream. Like this, I don't know, and how to make them self-discovery maybe yeah self discovery maybe to find something or i don't know it reminds us of the importance uh of following our passions so this one or it remind i'm talking about myself because i i i've already read this book it reminded me of the importance of uh, pursuing my passions, my interests. So, and listen, it's really, and listening, so I like this one, listening to the whispers of my heart. So, why not? Well, okay. And now, so question? No, thanks. Okay, well, and just let me say, yeah, just this. Um, okay, it reminded me, and um, just the risk, okay, profound. Oh, and this is profound, just as deep. If you want to use another word, you can say profound or deep exploration of personal dreams like this. Okay. Let's keep going with the third part. Let's check your answers. Number one, what kind of books are considered good reads in your opinion? So could you read it, please? I want to listen to you. Yeah, according to me, a good book is a book in which I can learn something new and interesting. Where it in novels, my first requirement is that the story must be logical. I do not like reading nonsense and illogical love story that are on over the internet now. I like reading books that give me knowledge about the culture and history of foreign lands, 
or I can learn from the novel characters how to behave properly in difficult situations. Not only novels, even when I read a new idiom story or a good grammar point in a boring grammar book, I'm still very happy. Yeah, of course, very good, well, really good. So just a point here, the only point, as I told you, this is part three, so uh, that was really good, actually. So according to me, a good book uh, is good book. Don't repeat it. So because we have a good book here, so in question, so we can't repeat it again. So you need to use another word. OK, valuable, precious, so gripping, so every word, but not this one, because, for example, uh, I don't know, like a good read, so we have it, or for example, easy read, so it's OK, or for example, spellbound, so everything, but not this one attractive for example but not good so because we repeat exactly you know immediately after we read the question so we get the question so it's not good i can learn something new and interesting so uh here what uh maybe a good book is a book in which actually yeah i can learn no so you can say in which teaches so me or us something new interesting so but if i were you now of course now you can change because you mean that uh, a real book is an eye opener so the idea is a real eye opener so that you completely explain that is it teaches a lot of things to us so give new perspective so just this and this way you can show your ability like you know, for example vocabulary research and the second one so just this change it with uh, an idiom when reading novels my first appointment is that so here this is part one so here you need to make your answer a bit more general so, you know, this is good, but it's something related to part one. I like reading books, so it's OK. So as I told you, it's really good. Why not? But it's a kind of part one of speaking. So you need to change it to part three. As I told you, part three, you know, uh, they're more abstract. Like, for example, a bit different. OK, so how to answer? these questions, it's a bit more as uh, like not really direct. OK, totally it was really good. But I like reading books that give me knowledge. So here. About the culture, OK, give me new perspective. So it provides me give me no, it provides me with. So instead of saying give me. Book, it provides me with something it can be anything it can be knowledge it can be information okay and uh provide me with new cultures and history or from the novel characters how to behave probably okay in difficult situation okay and so here how to behave properly how to deal with difficulties, how to tackle, tackle, deal with problems. OK, in crucial in, for example, difficulties or crucial uh, situations. So this way you can answer. And uh, a good grammar point in a boring grammar book. I'm still there. OK, so even so this one, even when I read a new idiom story, idiom story. So what is this one? Idiom story, idiom or story? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, each, each idiom has a story. Ah, uh, yeah. OK. When we can well, explain the, the idiom by a story, it's very yeah. interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. So when I learn, for example, even when I learn a new idiom and the story behind 
and the story behind of it, of course, so this way is better. So or something like a boring grammatical structure. OK, fine. Good. I'm still very happy, delighted, very happy, delighted. So. Do you think that the people read nowadays as they did in the past? So what do you think about this one? Oh, no, I don't think so. In terms of content, in the past, science and technology were not yet developed. So the news updates, uh, it should be updated. Uh, the updates were very limited. There was only some domestic content on paper, newspaper. Nowadays, readers can know the situation around the world every day, thanks to the Internet. In terms of reading methods, today they are not only paper newspaper, but also electronic newspaper. YouTubers, TikTokers provide information about heart issue regularly and weekly. Yeah, of course. Nowadays, reader can know the situation around the world. So you mean they can be updated. They know the situation around the world every day. Thanks to the, so of course we can. Yeah, we can become updated. So like this way is better at the moment or every moment, yeah. And we can easily access the internet to actually to be updated. So this way, in terms of reading method today's are not only paper news, but um, there's provide about hot issues. Okay, so let's talk about this one. So you don't think so, okay. always have readers in societies. Devices to read books like ebooks, so digital devices to read books, so comparing. And uh, however, so like, for example, Internet, so to download, as you mentioned, so you can say and young generation, especially a day more, they seem more interested to an interest in technology and, for example, uh, ebooks. So, of course, but then reading books, printed books, so women printed books. But we still have a good number of people who, I don't, readers, who only uh, read books, for example, printed books. So, just the method is different, but still a lot of people are interested in reading books. And the last, as you said, online platforms like TikTok, like YouTube, also enables us, allow us to express ourselves about writers. So what we think. So actually the better. So we can actually talk about the book or the writer openly, more openly, but of course in the past we didn't have the chance. Okay, that was really good and let me read the next one, number three. Uh, do you? OK, writers as good role models. OK, so what do you think about this one? Number three, do you regard famous writers as good role models? No, I just like their works. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the next part, I, I think maybe is not <laughs> uh, involved. Yeah. Well, in my life up to now, there have only been three people that I have admired. <clears throat> the first is a female scientist, Mary Curie. Do you know her? Of course, yes. Who doesn't? Of course. 
Uh, the, second, uh, the second is Mother Teresa. Yeah. And the third, the Vietnamese monk, who recently become famous for his practice of the 13 ascetic practice. He does not spend money, nor does he have any valuable processions except for tree rubs and a bowl made from an old rice cooker core. Every day, he only begs for enough food to eat one meal before noon. Every day, he walks about 20 kilometers and meditates for about 10 hours. At night, he sleeps, uh, he sleeps sitting under a tree in an abandoned house or in a cemetery. His perseverance preserv in practicing to become a Buddha. Uh, his wisdom. Oh, you mean perseverance? You mean perseverance? Yes. Yeah, her persistence. You mean persistence, perseverance, of course. Yeah, in practicing? In practicing to become a Buddha, his wisdom and compassion make me truly admire him. Okay, so that was really good. So, and we hold. Okay. Okay. The, oh, it's not not. Voice is interrupted. Now, can you hear me now? I I couldn't hear you. No. You check if you can hear you. No, I cannot. How about now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? No. 
But it's okay with the connection. Okay, now, can you? You hear me now? Here, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hello. Yes. Okay. Ah, it's, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. It's okay. So, okay. So I was talking about your answer, but uh, well, let me check your answer. Just about your this one, number four and five. So, uh, because we have no more time, just okay. Let's talk about number four. Uh, no, number three. Okay. So it was good. So. As I showed you so far, so the second one, the first, the first one, the second one, and the third one, you uh, made examples that was really good, and the word, for example, perseverance and compassion, wisdom, that was really good. Uh, the end one, and this one, he doesn't spend money nor this one, he doesn't spend money nor so neither he. Okay, spend so neither money nor so that is uh, nor is something that should it's something like either or and neither nor neither this nor that so like negative not this not that okay so here you need to change it and value passion okay any valuable okay possessions except for three okay ribs and bowl are made from an old rice cooker core so here it's better to be omitted it's not good to use because it's something extra it's better to be omitted every day he only okay begs for enough food to eat one meal before noon he walks so here you are talking about something in the past, but you are using a present simple. So it's a bit confusing here. So you need to decide if you're talking about people in the past or present. So, yeah. Yeah, in present. Of course. Now. Well, yeah. Now, at night, sleep sitting under a tree. And so this one is really good. Just because you know you mentioned about like uh, Marie Curie so of course it's like people in the past so but the third one is present one so yes. uh he's alive yes he's still alive okay. yeah very good okay well so this one is good but because we have no more time I will check your next answer okay again and I will send you my correction Okay, I will send you if, of course, if needed, if needed, I will send you my correction and the words that you need. And of course, the next topic, questions related to the next topic. Okay, do you have any questions? Um, oh, just let me raise this one. They are not related to. <laughs> so another class, let me raise the board. Okay, so this way. Yeah, uh, um, one word chance. Then of course. Do you, have you ever write something? An article? Like a book? Or, uh, a book? So, have, just okay. have you ever written? Not a book, but actually I collect something. It can be considered as an educational book. Maybe in the future I will publish, I don't know. It's like, you know, all about all my experiences related to IELTS and learning English. So I have a, I can say a notebook, just, you know, uh, I remember that, you know, I have written everything since beginning. So it's like, you know, there are a lot of 
something like points, important things, vocabulary, grammatical structure. So maybe in the future, I don't know, still writing. So every day, every time I add something, but it's not done yet. So maybe in the future, but not yet. I think it's really difficult to write something. Yeah. So you you did, but you did, right? As as we you answered this question, you did. Mm, I I started writing, but it not ah. finished yet. Ah, okay, just just okay. I will be the first one who who read. So just <laughs> you need to promise me. So I will be the first one. I want to read. Yes, I hope so. And at that time, um, maybe I need you to uh, correct. I will help. Of course, yeah. I will help you. Of course, I'm I will translate it into English and I need you to correct it. Of course, I will help you and it will be my pleasure. Why not? Of course, I will. I will have what I can. Well, but just but I can have I your Gmail. So of at course. that time, maybe we have uh, of course. connections. Of course. I yeah. will send it. Yeah, of course, I would type it in chat box for you. You can have it. And whenever you want to send me something. OK. OK, and that's it. This is my Gmail and whenever you want to send me something, you can easily. Uh, yeah, Monica, of course. Monica, 18864.m at gmail.com. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you for your answers, for being perfect, for starting. And have a great day. And see you. Have a great week, of course. Fruitful week. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.